Hey there, love lights. This is Sandra Bear Davis, the Appalachian Medicine Woman, speaking to you today from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I'm a fifth generation Appalachian Medicine Woman of Cherokee and Celtic descent, trained all my life in the sacred healing ways. I was really blessed as well to have quite a lot of other extensive training. Became a Yusui and a Sekim Reiki Master Teacher. I took the Muneki Rites. I got trained in Jewish shamanic healing. Oh gosh, so many things. Took a lot of intensive psychic development kind of courses, crystal healing, vibrational healing. Became a certified Helmana shaman, which is a non-native Hawaiian Huna practic practitioner. But uh, at the end of all that training, all those years of training, I came back to what was taught and shared in my family, which is the Appalachian folk medicine ways. Tonight, I'm going to be sharing here at my enchanted cottage in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, a fire ceremony. A fire ceremony for manifestation. Manifestation of your dreams come true. I put on my Facebook today that anyone that would like to share energetically in this ceremony is most welcome to do so. And ones who are in the area, feel free to come. We're going to begin about 7.30 and we're going to go out into the backyard. We're going to ride out We'll open sacred space. We're going to write out what we would like to create uh, in our lives, what we want to let go of, what we want to call in. Then we will work with a bit of ceremony, with some energy with that, with some spinning of energy with that. It's like law of attraction magnetized a thousand times a thousand. And then we will, in a prayerful setting, put the prayer request into the fire with the intention that the smoke as it rises to the heavens to great spirit that that it is seen with favor and that it can come back to you in whatever way is for your greatest and highest good in whatever way is in divine timing but that it powerfully comes back to you I've seen this create miracles in people's lives I've seen them really manifest with with ease and so that is my intention that that's what happens here. That everyone can create the life of their dreams, aligning themselves to their divine life path. But right now during these economic difficult times, many light bearers are finding it difficult to make ends meet. So I really want energetically to help people today, to, to really aid them in manifestation. Many people are asking for abundance financially. And so we're putting that in there. You know, just please help the light bearers, the ones that are here, you know, in service, the ones that are here to set the light, to expand the light in the world, uh, that they be able to manifest with ease all the things that they need. And that, that helps to remind them that they are beloved. They are looked after by the higher dimensions. We are sacred vessels in this earth. We are very looked after, very loved, very just looked at with so much love. <laughs> when I get to channel the higher dimensions, the immense love energy that comes in and comes through, I cannot doubt that we are beloved children of Great Spirit and Mother Earth, that the angels, the messengers of the Divine Father uh, are just they love us they want to help us and guide us also for those of you that know me you know I love working with fairy kingdom you know uh, as a part Cherokee person I also work with Nunehi which are nature spirits the gentle people uh, and we're going to call them into the space too because they are so wonderful for helping us manifest things in our day-to-day -day life I view them as as we have a heavenly kind of father, and I believe a celestial mother as well, we also have, I'm coming to you from Appalachian folk medicine, Christian mystic kind of perspective here. We also have a earth mother. We have a Gaia uh, or Donna or many other names are giving to this mother, this sentient being, our mother earth. I view as at the very center of the earth this crystalline being of intelligence she has as well messengers that that come they're part of the angelic hierarchy but they come from more the mother earth 
energy, and these to me are fairies and nunehi, nature spirits. They are messengers of the mother energy. And so they're very, like a mom, they're interested in, you know, are you eating right? Are you healthy? Are you happy? Are you happy with your job? Are you in love? You know, how are your babies doing? Are your babies healthy? How's your home? How's your pets? You know, is your car running okay? All these kind of day-to-day -day things they are very interested in. The, the archangels, when I work with them, I find them more interested in a divine life calling. You know, they do rush in and, and aid and help us with in emergency kind of situations. Uh, they do help us with prosperity and abundance, and but it's all about our higher calling with them. Uh, but as far as day-to-day -day life, who you work with, I love working with Nature Spirits Nunehi. So we're going to go out back. We're going to do a fire ceremony, um, a prayer request for manifestation. This is This particular ceremony is really just from my heart. It's also a way for me to rather re rededicate myself or actually to dedicate myself because I don't ever really feel like I did dedicate myself to serving the Pittsburgh area. Pittsburgh, as you may know, has been a challenge for me. I come from the Asheville, North Carolina area where there's lots and lots of light bearers. Um, and then I was in D.C. area, which is very open, you know, just really open to a lot of thought uh, and a lot of learning. And then I came to Pittsburgh and I had more challenges than I had ever worked with in my life. But I know now it really strengthened me in so many ways. And I have come to be very close to some wonderful, 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 wonderful people. And so, spirit keeps boomeranging me back here. I try to escape, you know, I try to go here and there to do my work, but I get powerfully boomeranged back here. So I finally had to listen to that and say, okay, I'm meant to serve this area. Yes, I go to D.C. four or five days a month. Uh, that's a wonderful way of man manifesting abundance to take care of my needs of my family and also to serve the community there. Folk medicine women, medicine women uh, are very few and very far apart. And we're not shamanic practitioners, kind of like New AG shamanic practitioners. No, 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 no. We are people that have had the true death experience come back with gifts of spirit. I've been blessed to be of at least five generations, many more than that, actually, but five that my, grand, my father remembers his great-grandmother doing this as well. So five living, kind of timeline, verifiable generations of, of healers. And so that's pretty few, pretty far apart. And I had intensive, lifelong training in this, as well as the near-death experience. I inherited some gifts from my ancestors. Um, my grandmother I inherited the gift of being able to uh, less than the size of tumors, and I've had good success with healing of cancer. Anything that happens is is from the Divine Father, the Divine Mother. I'm a vessel for spirit, a vessel for spirit. So I can't take credit for it, but I, I do, do feel very wonderful to be the vessel, the medium, the one between, you know, in, in, in the middle of this energy. You need a human to flow that energy. Uh, that's just the way things are, are established. It, it gives us humans something to do, right? I mean, Divine Father could zap us all and heal, heal us all. You know, he doesn't need us. But it is something our soul needs to, be, to have this service. And many people you know, find it very, very helpful. I have another gift uh, come, that comes from my great-grandmother and great-great-grandmother, which is, um, you know herbal, being able to talk to the herbs, particularly mugwort, things like that, being able to intuitively blend teas and things like that. I totally got off track. Sorry about that. But we're doing that fire ceremony, the abundance ceremony tonight. Uh, and if you happen to be around, you're more than welcome to come or to uh, attach to it energetically. I'll try to film it, but I probably will forget because I get very oh, in the moment, you know, when I'm doing my work. The second thing I wanted to talk to you about was 
I'm going to be starting a Pittsburgh Light Bearers Psychic Circle mid-August. Uh, that is going to be, yes, uh, intuitive development and training, but it goes bit, quite a bit deeper than that. It's going to be a mis in a mystery school style, uh, but I'm looking for people who are really serious about learning, who are would be committed to coming week after week after week, because as we develop our abilities and cohese as a group, then once people are really really powerful psychics, powerful mystics, powerful light bearers. We're going to do some really intensive, powerful light bearers work in, up in this place. So I'm looking to build my core team here, the ones that will come week by week and we will work on expanding, 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 expanding out the light. And so what we're going to do is, I started a little meetup on it. I'm also going to have a Facebook page, but I already know four or five of the people that will be participating in this. We're only going to allow 14 in the group. That would be my husband and I, because he's a Rosicrucian for 30 years. He's going to be teaching the chakra toning, chanting, um, and in a kind of like the Rosicrucian style of journeying within the chakra system and how they do their work very systematically to make sure you're safe and, and, and to make sure you've really absorbed your lesson. So he's going to teach things from a Rosicrucian point of view. I'm going to teach things from an Appalachian folk medicine point of view and as a professional intuitive for many years So and as a light bearer. Uh, when I'm done with folks, I really want them to be extremely powerful, extremely loving, extremely gifted intuitives, um, light bearers, you know, light bearers. So, we are going to be asking for an exchange of energy, ten dollars per week. That be the reason for that is because if people get to come for free, they don't respect it, they don't show. They don't honor it. They don't honor the space. And so I am asking for a, an energy exchange. And I am asking for people for a commitment of time. If you can't be regular on Wednesday night, I don't want you. Yeah, this isn't about the money. This is about uh, developing a group of light bearers, powerful light bearers. And I'm looking for serious people. I have been searching for that for quite a while, but I didn't quite know how to put the energy out. I was a little too mamby-pamby, a little bit too nice about it, a little bit too flexible with it. What I found was when I was not charging, I woke up one time from a trance state completely surrounded by energy vampires. Totally surrounded by energy vampires. Uh, I became physically sick. I withdrew from my work. So now, I'm physically healed. The holes in my art field are clean, and I'm powerful, and I'm ready to do my work. And so, yes, there will be an energy exchange. People will be expected to work with integrity with this. We're going to be taking this seriously. I'm going to give a commitment of my time on Wednesdays. Works out perfectly because I can still go to D.C. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Every once in a while, a little bit longer than that, so I can commit to the Pittsburgh area for Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. I will be developing other programs for those evenings uh, as we as we go further in developing our our mystery school here. So uh, feel free to connect energetically with the ceremony tonight. Feel free to contact me on Facebook, Sandra Bear Davis, and think about would you like to participate in a Pittsburgh Light Bearer Psychic Circle Circle regularly on Wednesdays, 7 to 9 p.m. Love to have you if you're serious about it. This is going to be an adventure, amazing experience. And I really do welcome you. I invite you. Uh, I hope you have a blessed and beautiful day. I will talk to you again soon. Bye-bye. I think I'm going to go ahead and do a second video to finish up some information, okay? Mwah!